I don't know, like, don't they have a trim, like, non-aesthetic apartment? That's this. The first intro I filmed, I actually had my hair out. Like, I had um my actual hair out before I braided it. So, today, I am going to be doing a bomb tutorial. I'm so excited for this tutorial. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I always say I'm never going to film with the front camera because I just can't. I just keep looking at myself. But it's hard. Yeah. So, okay. So, today, I'm going to be showing you guys me doing my tie method locks um but i'm going to be doing a cute fall color mix inspired by i think it's hair by blue on instagram um she does bomb color mixes she puts like sparkle in them and she puts like different colors you wouldn't even think wouldn't wouldn't even think of i'm using the fall colors you all know the colors that we're talking about the 27 the 30 the 350 the berg all of that so i'm using those colors in the um expressions twisted up kinky twisted hair i'm gonna I'm put the video on the screen so y'all y'all seeing the video right now i do recommend seeing if you can find the already made um twist um in macchiato and dragon fruit because that would have been much easier and took way less time it took me a whole day to make 80 locks so look for the pre-made twist like my last lock video the revised lock video that is the better method for sure and then i'm going to use a glow in the dark braiding hair because i just thought it would be so cute for october i thought it would be so cute so that's why i am using the i'm a little stuffed up i'm going to turn braiding hair into spring twist hair i'm gonna try to make a video about it but my oven is broke so um hold on brain fart. i cannot use the stove top right now um i'm gonna have to um Brandon's supposed to be going to go get a um, stove top burner thing. Like, you know what they use on the tutorials or whatever. I braided up my hair. I used a couple different products. The products I showed. Um, the gel. The gel is pretty good. My hair is hard. I don't know if it's supposed to be hard. Um, my lips are very ashy, but we're not worried about that. Like, is it too early? Here, here's 10. I know it doesn't look like 10, but it's 10. Hold on. Okay. Let me try to put it up against the white. They look so cute and I know, I know it sounds crazy, but when I put the glow in the dark in my hair, when I put that in my hair, it's over for you girlies, okay? Nah, but I want, like, I know people are trying to style. Like, people keep commenting they're trying to style. I want to see. My hair is not in the best condition, so if y'all see a big chop, y'all see a big chop. The only thing is, I really don't want to chop my hair off because I want to bring you guys new, cool, fun um, tutorials. So, um, if I do cut my hair off, it's going to be a lint to where I can still do stuff with it. So, color mix. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I'm scared because I don't want to look like <laughs> too crazy. But hopefully, I don't. So, I'm going to come back when we're ready to install. Um, for the braids, I just braided it and I tried to... I'll probably show you guys that tutorial. You know yeah. I just braided it enough to where it will leave a little bit of like loose hair so that I can do a retwist, but not as much as my first video because I would be retwisting my hair like every day and I'm not trying to do that. So yeah, um, I don't know. Honestly, we might even just do the, like just wrap all the way to the base because it was a lot. I don't know. It depends if I can make it look natural because these locks are supposed to look natural. But anyways, I've been talking so much. Let's go. Um, the next clip I'll probably be installing or something. I don't know. I'm also trying to make a TikTok at the same time, so.
I have two more to do. I left these two in the front, so I'm gonna teach you guys how I do it. Now, this method that I'm doing, I am um getting from a girl's YouTube video. It was so bomb. Um, she did realistic locks too. I can't remember her name, but if you search up realistic locks, you'll see her video. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. They're they're really cute. Um, and so I'm using this method from her. Um, so yeah, basically what you're gonna do is take your crochet. This is the method that I used in my other video, the um, crochet lock passion twist method. Um, so yeah, so what you're gonna do is take your crochet, whatever crochet you're using, and take your braid and put it on like that. Okay, and then you're going to first of all, what do you mean? I would like to see where what I you can't really see, but I, I see where I want it to lay. So if I want it to lay longer, then I'll put it like this. If I want it to lay shorter, then I'll put it like this. So you're gonna take a rubber band. Alright, take your rubber band and loop it onto your hair. I loop it twice and maybe three times. And then I take this extra piece of hair and I wrap it. And I'll leave a little bit out like this so I can secure it with the rubber band. And this method is way better than like my first video of the realistic walks because my locks are falling out. Because all I think I did was like I think I did like this and I lift it, so my locks are just gonna fall out. So this is the method, this is the way to go. Okay. So then also I was a firm believer that I did not have to crochet my wrapping hair into my lock, and you do. Please crochet your wrapping hair into the base because it's gonna make it not fall out. If you don't and you just wrap it, it's just gonna start sliding over time, sliding. But when you secure it right there, in between your your hair base or whatever, it's stuck. So, and I also noticed that my hair never unraveled on this side and it unraveled at the base. So my hair should not be unraveling, but I probably will do an update or like a refresh or something. I don't know. So, um, I try to just use my fingers to open up, but sometimes if it's too small, I have to use a crochet tool. But I think this one. Let me see. Yeah, I can pull the hair through. So I just kind of stuck the hair in there because I'm lazy and I lightly pull it through and hold the other side and then there you go. And now I'm gonna start wrapping. And yeah, I just wrap, that's it. Um, I like to take the hair, flatten it out like this and I just loosely wrap over my hair and my hair is like this red copperish color. So it's kind of hard to cover because I don't want the base to be too um, thick, like stiff, I mean. So, but yeah, I loosely wrap, 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 wrap. And <clears throat> when I get to the end, I start wrapping a little bit tighter. And I'm looking to the mirror right now, so my eyes are cross-eyed. And I'm going to wrap it up. So I'm wrapping. And why I like to loosely wrap right here is because over time, I like this wraps part to match this bottom part that looks more realistic. And when you wrap loosely, it gives it, um, over time when you're washing or just like your hair just getting old basically, it starts to look more like this. But if you wrap it really tight, it's harder for it to look like this. So I know this looks wrapped and I know this looks different, but it's going to match over time. Okay. Okay. So I just took that. And in this one, I'm just going to let you guys watch. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. I'm just going to let you guys watch me do it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, dip my hair. Um, I'm not gonna put that on camera just because like I usually almost burn myself, so I'm not gonna record that. Um, Brennan's gonna help me, but I don't know. I'm tired and 
So I'm gonna put my hair in probably like six different braids or something like that. And then I'm gonna like make it crinkly. Um, so I guess the ends won't stay the same. And then after that, I will do like a video of how everything looks. Um, yeah, I'm excited, but I'm scared. And I'm, I didn't know how much I miss black hair. So I'm, I might really go back to black hair. Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> 